This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 15, verse 6. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurts and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim uh, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And this is a quick sit down lesson through the spirit, power, breast, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh Shai on this uh, July the 10th, 2022, at 11.43 p.m. Central Standard Time. And this is a, a quick sit down lesson. The title of it is For Wickedness Has Exceedingly Polluted the Whole Earth. Right, because the whole earth is polluted in wickedness and the whole earth is in gross darkness. And that's why you seeing the men of the Lord, the true servants, the true prophets of Yahweh Yahushai out there uh, preaching the word, preaching the uh, holy righteous gospel through the four corners of the globe. That bringing righteousness on the uh, whole planet earth, you know, because this whole earth is in gross darkness, you know. Bring out Job 24. Matter of fact, bring uh, Isaiah 29 and 16. Uh, let's lock you. So Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 15 Woe unto them that seek deep to hear their counsel from the Lord and their works are in the dark and they say who seeth us and who knoweth us right and as he saw Edom you know he's spreading his wickedness on the planet earth exceeding his wickedness on the planet earth you know now you got the other nations do it as well too including our own people as well too that indulge wickedness and iniquities and transgressions etc you know but the top the top main person is Esau Edom you know because he exceeded wickedness throughout the whole earth exceedingly increasingly you know and this is a uh, verse 16 get a, get right into it you know Isaiah 29 and verse 16 surely your things up surely your turning of things upside down shall it be as an esteemed potter's clay for shall the works of him that made it he made me not or shall the things frame saying of him that framed it he has no understanding Right, because Esau Edom got this whole society, this whole world is in gross darkness, you know, and many things, which I'm not going to say, you know, it's just evilness and transgressions of wickedness. That's why evilness has been exceeding throughout the whole planet Earth, you know, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, you know, and and I'm gonna bring out another scripture as well too. The whole earth is out of no slock here.
Yep, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse 5 in the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, They know not, neither will they understand. They walk in darkness, and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Right, because Esau, he loves darkness. He loves spread all this ultimate deceit throughout the whole planet earth you know that's why the whole earth is out of course you know in many different levels you know which i'm not going to say you know so spreading lies deceit you know uh wickedness you know the opposite of right uh, the opposite of righteousness you know, and Esau eat him that he does these things, spiritual Satan and physical Satan as well, too. You know, because like the scripture says, he, uh, the devil should come down with great wrath because he know you have but a short time, you know. And I'm going to bring that out as well, too. chapter 12 verse 12 therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell the well in them and woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea for the devil has come down come down unto you having great wrath because he knows that he had but a short time right because this to the spiritual Satan and physical Satan is going to come down with great wrath because he know he had but a short time. That's why you're seeing wickedness is being increased at an all-time high, you know. That's why you're seeing the whole earth is out of course. You're seeing all these uh, racial tensions, the uprises of the people, you know, and many other different things, you know. The, the weather is out of course, the chemtrails in the skies, and every many things, you know. The love of many waxing cold, you know, they in that Edomite, Edomite type spirit, want to mess up everything, c commit wicked acts, the lust of the flesh of uh, wicked things as well too, and many other different things as well too, that's why this whole earth is out of course, under Esau's Edom rulership, you know, and I'm going to bring out a scripture as well too, when the righteous when the righteous are in yep Proverbs 29 and 2 when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn, right? Because, you know, this whole earth is in gross darkness. And it's, uh, wickedness have put, wickedness have, uh, ex succeedingly polluted the whole earth. Because, you know, because it's run by Esau, Edom. You know, this, this, this uh, world is upside down. The whole earth is out of course. You know, that's why I brought out 20, uh, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the wicked bear fruit, people mourn. But when the righteous are the authority, people rejoice. Because we are entering in the stages of the righteous are going to be back in, in, you know, the righteous is going to be back in, in authority, you know. Because this earth do need new governors to rule this planet earth, you know. And the Heavenly Father is setting up righteous men to serve the prophets. 
of your how about you now shine through the four corners of the globe you know preaching this word truth necessary because like it says uh this gospel shall be preached through all the four corners of the globe and then the end shall come and we are entering into times of this approach the end of this uh evil wicked man's uh ruling society you know because like it says in the uh, second Ezra 6 and 9, for Esau is the end of the world, Jacob beginneth their fathers, you know, the righteous of uh, the house of Jacob, you know. So Esau, Edom is, uh, you know, because uh, Esau, Edom's uh, kingdom is, is falling. That's why you see the uh, wickedness increasing the while the whole planet earth within all the nations you know including our nation as well too and all other nations you know just not be on the hypocritical side but that's just facts and that's the truth you know but you know Esau Edom's uh, society is uh, coming to a halt coming to an end very soon that's why he's coming down with great wrath because he know he had but a short time. That's why wickednesses are exceedingly at an all-time high in these last days, you know. So with that, I hope this uh, quick sit-down lesson was edifying. And I hope my uh, points that I was making in this video, hopefully they were hopefully they were on point. Through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh And once again... I uh, hope this lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of the Yahweh Yahushua. And first and foremost, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Makar Kadash. Noble honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom on to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom on to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe. Preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. That be like unto the speckled bird. Preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say, uh, Shalom and a ball, ball, ball.